Closer. <laughs> All right, now, ladies and gentlemen, this is my wonderful friend here. Her name is Kristen. Hello. Hi, Kristen. And because I want everyone to get a taste of everyone's personality here at the Good Hope Estate, I'm going to let Kristen do the tour of the Great House for me. All right. Okay. No, you can be rude. You can be good. You can give her a lot of trouble. No problem. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, I will be walking along with you also. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good, good morning. morning. How are you guys doing? Wonderful. Are you? Are you? Are you here? Yeah. Yes. yes. Are you? Just want to say thank you guys for choosing Jamaica. I just want to say welcome to the Good Hope Great House and welcome to Chaka at Good Hope. As Ramona said, my name is Kristen. I will be your guide for the Great House. Okay? As you know, you're on the Good Hope Estate. It's a 2,000 acre estate. 800 is cultivated in citrus, 150 in coconut. Back in the 1700s and 1800s, it was a working sugar plantation. <coughs> now, there has been six previous families to own Good Hope, and the first owner, his name was Colonel Thomas Williams. Williams. He was granted this land in the year 1742 by the King of England for his services to him, as back then Jamaica was under the British colony. He initially built this great house in the year 1755, and it was built in preparation for a marriage. His son, whose name was Thomas Williams Jr., was getting married to Elizabeth. But when Elizabeth came to Jamaica, Unfortunately, she died shortly after. Mm -hmm. At that time, malaria and yellow fever were common, so it is said that was what led to her death. Mm -hmm. Now, that room below the house, it is called the grave room, and that is where Elizabeth's grave is located. Okay? Now, let me see the hands of who's been to Jamaica before. So, did you know that legend has it that every great house you visit in Jamaica, you will find ghosts? Yeah. You know that? Mm -hmm. So you know there are ghosts here, right? Mm -hmm. And you're not afraid of her? <laughs> no, I have a picture of me with the white witch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not me, I <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, now we're going to go inside the grave room to have a look at Elizabeth's grave. But before we get there, can everyone turn their attention to the great house? And there is a crest in the center of the great house. Can everyone see that crest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is our Jamaican coat of arms. Now on the top, there is a crocodile. And we have crocodiles here in Jamaica. On both sides, there are two persons. They were called the Tainos or the Arawak Indians. And they were the first inhabitants here in Jamaica. In the middle, if you look closely, you will see a cross. That cross represents our predominant religion here, which is Christianity. Inside the cross, there are five pineapples, and the pineapple symbolizes a welcome. It is the warmest welcome you can give to a visitor. Now, on the bottom, on the scroll, the word says, Out of many one people, which is our motto here in Jamaica. As Jamaica is made up of different types of persons from different racial backgrounds. Okay? Any questions? Okay, now we're going to proceed in.